TFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 68, NASDAQ off 88, S&P's down 14 and a half. Gold, gold contract up $20.40 at 1991. You get silver up 31 cents, $23.45 an ounce. Late sweet crude up 51 cents, $73.31 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note down 11 ticks, trading 114.20. The 30-year off 13 at 129.30 in King Dollar. King dollar out here down 414 ticks, trading 102, 444. The euro is at 108. The yen's trading 130, and the British pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. We got to take a look at the SP. Uh, bottom line, yeah, you got red markets, but this volume is so light out here. Um, you know, this is a market that looks to me like you're still going to get um, a higher market. I, I, don't, I don't expect it today, but um, from last week, it looks to me like you're going to run to the top of that range again, which is about the 402 mark. Because you can see, you know, yesterday you, you failed on price. You had 74 million shares. Well, we're, we're going down to 42 million. And the 42 million is going into 119, as well as like 172, as well as uh, 157. So right now, the, the sellers are not out in force. That's the bottom line. The buyers aren't either. But the bottom line, when you stop backing down like this, if you don't see volume expanding, and the, the amount of contraction that we're actually taking, that's saying that, hey, guess what? It's going to pop again. We got to take a look at the Qs. The Qs are losing price. Now, that's light volume, too. But I expect what you'll actually see is that the Qs will continue to lose price. The reason being is that once it got into the 307, uh, 18 mark, uh, bottom line, that can get a little bit deeper. But the volume, as, just as the S&P, it's contracting big time. So this thing is not over, meaning um, this can run to higher price. We go to the dollar and, you know, the, the market in, in general today. So you have the market backing down to the red. It should be in the green, okay, because you can see how weak the market actually is because we have the dollar pulling back 420. Um, and, and what you have with that particular case, it's still dealing with the strength as it came off that bottom. That strength is, is a big strength. We rejected that uh, last Thursday. Uh, bottom line is that uh, you get a small consolidation happening in the marketplace. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.